Hi, this is Jay from Encodian. Uh, we've had quite a few questions recently about how to remove data from the start of a CSV file before it's been passed. So we're just going to give you a quick example of how you can do that. So this is a CSV file, some really basic data in it. There's the data I'm interested in. Here's some data that I want to get rid of. And if you were to look at that file in Notepad or Notepad++, which is what I've got here, you'll see there's that data and you can see that it's a, a comma separated file and you can see that top level piece of information I need to get rid of. So what I've done, I've got a manually triggered flow here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an input for a file. So we'll do this nice and simply. So I'm going to select that file when I run this. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is, is change the format of the CSV file into a text so that I can read it. So to do that, I'm going to use an expression and I see base64 to string. And then in that expression, I'm going to pass in the file content. Okay. So let's just see how that runs now. And let's test and select that file. Manually test. So I've selected that file and I click run flow. And what you'll see, you'll see the file that's I've selected, it'll come in. You can see there's there's that file in base64 format. And if I scroll down, you'll see that that now has been through using the, that expression, I've actually got access to the to the file as a string. So now what I need to do, I need to add another expression, and this time we'll call it another compose action. And I'll just rename this so we know what's going on. I'll call it compose replace, and I'm simply going to use a string replace. So this time we'll use the replace expression and the text we need to pass in is, is, is the text coming from the previous compose action, which is the text uh, representation of the file. And the first parameter I'm going to pop in is the, what they're saying is old text, but it's the text basically that I want to find within the string and delete. So I'm going to copy and paste in the string here, which is this is some data to delete. And then the next parameter I'm going to pop in is what I want to replace it with. And that's really easy because it's a blank string. So I literally, I've just put two, two quote. Now, if I was to put into data here, it would replace it with that, but I just want to replace it with a, with a, with a blank string. So let me click OK, and we'll run that again. And we can test it with the previous trigger. And let's see what happens this time. So we can see there's our string. And there it is with the data that's been removed, which is perfect. And now to show you what you might want to do, just as an example, let's see if I can parse this CSV. And I'll just use the encoding action to do that. And this time I can't pass the string directly in because you need to pass a file into these types of uh, actions. So, so what would I do here? So to do this, we would again just use another um, expression and we're going to just do base64 which is basically saying take the string value um, and oh, would help if I did it in the expression build wouldn't it base64 and again I'm just going to pass in the updated string so the outputs from the compose replace action click OK and now that time is going to pass in a base you know it's going to in effect we've decoded the file from base64 to a string so we can manipulate the string and now we're going to uh, turn it back into base64 so we can send it as a file to another action for processing. So let's just do that again. We'll run it. We can just run it with the same test data. And we'll be able to see that that CSV will be passed. Ooh. If you ever see this, it's basically because I've added a new um, uh, a new action and in, into the flow. And basically, it's upset. Uh, and I need to test with fresh data, basically. It's that simple. So if I just do test again, and this time pull in, happens to all connectors, it's a bit of a frustrating uh, feature, should we say. And I'll run it this time, and it'll go through no problems. So there we go. So we can see files come in. There's the, there's the base64 file. I've turned it into a string. I've manipulated the string with the replace action to remove some data. And then I've parsed it, and this example, there's the file content going in, and there's the parsed data coming out the back of it. So I've got teams, goals, and if I wanted to, I could do something like set, take that data, um, I could parse it. So let me do something like parse the JSON, 
and I give it the CSV data. I need to build the schema which I can generate from the sample. Click done. And next, if I wanted to do something about the data, like send send an email for each entry or something, I don't know, we'll probably put it into a SharePoint list, I should imagine. So I could do create item. I'm sure I've probably got a list around somewhere. And what we'll do, we'll just find one at the bottom. Demo. Community will be fine. And if I just choose title and said it's team, there we go. And then I could just do hyphen goals. So there's that data being extrapolated at that point and being written into the uh, written into SharePoint list. So nice and simple. Hopefully that gives you um, a good demonstration of uh, how you can manipulate um, a CSV file. As always, if you have any questions, you can contact us at supportencoding.com um, or just check the uh, support portal out, which is support.encoding.com.